Here's some questions for you guys. What memory speed should you choose? Should you tune your memory to squeeze more performance out of it? Well, after this video, you'll have your answers. For testing, we will be using a Corsair Vengeance kit at 6000 and a team group kit that could go up to 7200. Testing for the team group kit will be done at 6000 and 6400. First, I will show the performance delta between 6400 and 6000 SK Hynix tuned memory. If you have Hynix memories, make sure to check the video linked in the description as it explains step by step timing settings. Please pause the video and check the timings used for the testing as these are the stable ones. First, I will check the performance difference in the Callisto protocol, a game from late 2022. Here are the settings that I used for testing. When it comes to the average frames, there isn't any difference. Both are around 77 frames. But when we move to the 1% lows, we see a difference of 3 frames, which is above 2% overall performance increase. Let's check to see if this is reproducible in other games as well. Here we have the graphic settings used for Hogwarts Legacy. When we look at the averages in this game, we have a minor performance bump, but this is negligible as it's around 3%. Here, the 6400 memory speed is a bit faster. When we move to the 1% lows, we have a performance increase of more than 3 frames, which amounts to roughly 10%. We can see that in this game, performance scales well with memory frequency. Let's see if most games scale the same as well. Moving on to Returnal, a game first released on PS5 in 2021 that was ported to PC and released in February 2023. Checking on the results, we can see that the average frames are the same, only the 1% loads are a bit different. 2 frames at above 60 frames per second isn't much, but an improvement nonetheless. Could this be the trend? Let's move to Forspoken, another game released in 2023, and see the results. This game is not memory sensitive. Averages are the same, and we don't have 1% lows, as the internal benchmark doesn't display it. Let's check another type of game. These are the graphics settings for Call of Duty 2022, a game that I'm going to use to see if there are any differences when using lower settings in games. Moving on to the results, we see that this game doesn't care about memory speed. At these frame rates, a 2 frame per second difference can be attributed to margin of error. So, when using lower settings, it seems that the memory speed is not important, only the game itself. Checking the results for Dying Light 2, we can see that the game isn't memory sensitive, as there is no difference between these speeds. Same behavior in Cyberpunk 2077, no performance difference at all. This game doesn't care about memory, it only cares about CPU and GPU. The exact same thing can be said about Watch Dogs Legion. No performance difference at all. In Troy, we can see again the same results between the two different memory speeds. The last game that I checked is Civilization 6. This game scales with memory as well. When it comes to the averages, we have a 8 frames per second difference in favor of the 6400 speed, which amounts to above 2% performance increase. The difference can be seen as well when checking the 1% lows. Here, the increase is closer to 4%. As it can be observed, we have a benefit when moving from 6000 to 6400 tuned memory. Now, let's see the difference between Samsung and Hynix memories. One has tighter primary timings, the other better secondary timing. Both kits are at 6000. My recommendation is, if you want to tune your memories to disable fastboot, it's better to have it disabled instead of having to manually clear CMOS as it may not post because of some aggressive timings. All other settings are let them on auto for both kits and just updated the timings. When it comes to tuning, I wanted to have the tightest primary timings. I have set TCL or CAS to 30 from defo the default value of 36. I have tried lowering it to 28, but my kit didn't post with that value, at least in combination with the other timings that I have used. Moving on to TRAT value. The kits will post with 32, Lower values will not work. With the value set to 32, when testing it with memtest64, I was getting error from the start. The situation did not change until I increased the value to 44. Things were a bit more stable, but after more than one hour of testing, I still got a few errors. When I increased the value to 48, I got only three errors, so I decided to go up to 50 and everything was stable. When playing with memory timings, it's advisable to do memory tests 
to check that the timings used don't cause system instability. Every test must pass. For some reason, MemTest is not detecting properly the Expo profile, but I assure you that the ones that I will show work correctly. TRC and TWR values can go lower for me than what you see on the screen. Lower values will not post. Refresh interval can probably be increased to 65,000, but this value is safe. With my kids, if I wanted to lower the value of TRTP to 22, it will not pass the memory test after saving the changes and rebooting. The other values that you see on the screen that are not set to auto can be lowered for this Samsung memory kit. When lowering one value and saving the change, PC won't boot. Now, let's see the final timings for both kits set at 6000 and see if primary timings are more important than secondary timings. The Samsung kit is not able to have tight secondary timings like the Hynix one. Well, the Hynix kit that I have couldn't boot with tight primary timings as the Samsung kit. Please pause the video to check the timings if you want to see the difference between the two kits. Now, I'm not going to show the game settings again. We will go directly to the performance results. The difference between these kits is minor. Most games are within a margin of error. Starting with the Callisto protocol, there is no difference between the kits. In in Hogwarts Legacy, we can see that the title primary timing produces a minor performance improvement. In return, the Hynix kit recorded a minimum of 61 frames in one run out of the three. This is why we have a lower 1% average, but this game is not memory sensitive. Both seem to perform the same here. Looking at Forspoken, there is no difference between the two. Here, we don't have values for the 1% lows. When it comes to Call of Duty, the difference that you see doesn't matter at all. For all the other games except Civilization 6, the minor performance differences can be attributed to margin of error. I'm considering a margin of error a performance difference of less than 2%. The Samsung kit with better primary timings constantly outperforms the Hynix kit when it comes to the 1% lows. This game is sensitive to primary timings as in the first test that I did a while back and I'm linking the video in the top right corner, we could observe a performance increase when lowering the cast values. When looking at the overall results we can see that the average frames are more or less the same but we see better 1% lows for the Samsung kit. It seems that better primary timings outperform better secondary timings. The best will be tight primary and secondary timings. This couldn't be achieved with any of the kits that I had in hand. The Hynix kit wouldn't boot with any change to the primary timings while keeping the same secondary timings. Now let's put everything together and check the results. Tuned memories versus untuned memory. The gap between the highest performance tuned memory and the one recommended by AMD DDR6000 at C30. In the Callisto protocol the averages are the same. Only the 1% lows are seeing an improvement when with tuned memories. The best result is with the tuned Hynix at 6400 speed, followed by the tuned Samsung at 6000. Moving on to Hogwarts Legacy, a game that seems to benefit from memory tuning. When we look at the averages, the 6400 tuned Hynix is tied to the 6000 Samsung tuned memory, with the 6000 tuned Hynix not far behind. With tuned timings, I got max frames above 80 and with untuned frames in the high 70 range. When looking at the other games like Return of Force and Call of Duty, we don't see any major difference. The difference that you see at Call of Duty can be attributed to margin of error. Nothing changes when you scroll down and we look at Dying Light to Stay Human and Cyberpunk 2077. Could this be a trend? Could this mean that more games don't benefit from better timings? Let me scroll down and show you another game that actually shows improvements. That game is Civilization 6. As far as I can see, this game benefits more from tighter primary timings than memory speed. I'm saying this because looking at the Samsung tuned and untuned memory, they perform more or less the same. The best performer here is the Hynix memory tuned at 6400. It outperforms at averages and also at 1% lows. So, when buying a new memory, what should you choose? Well, it depends. If you're on a budget, the best choice would be to go with a 6000 kit. I would choose one with the lowest primary timings. If not on a budget, I would go at at least 6400 with best timings. Would the performance be noticeable? Most likely no. And what about tuning? If you choose to tune your memory, then the timings don't matter that much. You can adjust them and see what performance can be gained. But be advised, this is very tricky. I'm saying this because it takes time to fine tune your memory. If you have Hynix memory, then you can watch the video that I have linked in the description. If not, then you have a little bit more testing to do. My advice is to fine tune your memory and test it properly as it can have errors and unexpected uh, crashes and you would not know that it's because of the memory. It will not show an error stating that the memory tuning is too tight. How I tune my 
Samsung memory. I just lower the value that I found on the expert profile. I adjusted it one by one and check to see if it was. Once the PC has booted, then I run the memory test. My advice is to run at least three runs. This way you'll be sure that you have stable memory and clocks. In the oh, I have the video on YouTube for the Hynix memory. I actually run the tests and made sure that the timings are working properly on my computer. My advice is to not leave the timings on auto as I did here. I since changed that. I'm saying this because when updating the BIOS we can have different default values. Thanks for watching guys and hope to see you in the next one. If you like the video please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel.